Okay guys, on this video I'm going to show you how I use GarageBand. Um, there's going to be three separate videos because I didn't want to make them too long. Uh, one is going to show you how I used um, how I use GarageBand to just to make the tracks the way I use it. I don't know how other people do. Uh, I've been figuring it out by myself, so <laughs> it might not be the right way, you know. Um, it might, it's just my way of doing it. So I'm going to show you that, and then another way that makes it even more simple, um, it's it's more basic, I guess I want to say, um, a way to make a track without doing all the stuff that I do. And then I'm going to show you in the other video how to add vocals and background vocals to your pre-made track. Yeah, so they're going to be three videos and uh, yeah I hope you find them helpful it's just real basic uh, I'm I try to explain it the best I can and just showed you I went about it how I do it so yeah so if you want to see that keep watching <laughs> Okay, here we go. So I'm going to show you how I use GarageBand on my phone. I'm doing this on my husband's phone, so none of my music is on there. He's got something he was playing with here. But you start by pressing this plus sign right here. And then it has guitar if you want to add guitar. Um, and it has world, drummer, sternal. So live loops so you have to click right there this is tracks and then live loops i'm still not completely knowledgeable on this um i'm kind of just self-teaching myself so here we go these are all the different genres of styles of music that they have so i go with new because i want to build it from scratch and this way you can mix any genre the way to start is you go here, and here they have hip hop, but you can click the X, and then it goes to genres, descriptions, and you can also put a heart on your favorite loops. So we're going to do, let me see, let's go to genres, chill wave is one of my favorite because I just like the way the beats sound, so you like, and then you click and it lets you hear the loop. So this will be replay over and over. Let's make it less loud so you can hear me. All right, so we're gonna start with that one just to make it real simple. You click this and you drag it there. Now, if you wanna hear it, this is what I do. I play it, right? And it keeps playing and then I look for another one. You can stay within the same genre, which is chill wave here, and find, you just have to tap and listen. Do you like how that sounds together? Do you not like it? Here's another one. And another one. this one just to show you you put this one below because if you put it next to they won't play together okay so this line will all play like separately um, here you click it and it starts playing so they'll play together but if you want to change let's see you hear another one Sometimes I don't remember which one. You can add another one, like that. And they all play together. And you can start hear, hearing the song building. Okay. Now, if you want to change the beat, this is what you do. So, you want it to sound a little different.
So this is what you have to do first. You have to build your song and think about how you want it to sound with, you know, the different loops. Okay, this makes for a good melody sound, so we're going to add that. And you can keep adding. The only thing that gets tricky is timing. So when you start recording, you're gonna have to tap these in the order that you want them to play. And then some beats just you don't we don't like them, we don't play it. And this is what I do to hear the beats together so I know that they'll go with each other. Okay, we're gonna keep it simple like that, but you can keep adding different instruments. You click on instruments, and these are the instruments under that genre. Now, if you want all the instruments, you click the X, it goes to, you know, just genres. You click instruments, and here you can get different instruments that they have. So, let me see. You don't really get much piano unless it's already in the chill wave. But, and it only takes like, I don't know, a few seconds to kind of hear it and pick up if you like it or not, or if you can actually even hear it through all these. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna play Press the play button to stop the tracks from playing. Now I'm gonna show you how to record. So you click you click the record. Once you have in your head what you want the track to sound like, what order you wanna play the loops in, you click the record, right? And you start and it'll record. So now it's all about timing. Now let it play it one more time. And then I'm gonna go with the beat. Ready. So you let it play like that. And then I'm gonna add another one. The next one we want. Will be the next one I put down. change the way it sounds. Just build your, your, your... Now what I like to do when I'm gonna end it, I just start reducing. So we're gonna take off this guy right here. So let's put a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now you stop by clicking the record button. Then you can go back to the beginning and you can play your track and listen to it. So that, and it'll keep playing over and over. Okay, so here's another tip. You click this little wrench right here and it helps you change the key. So here are all the keys, major, minor. So you can change it to a minor key. And I think that'll change it. I'm not sure if it'll change the recording, but it'll change when you, before you record, you can change the key that you want it in. Um, let me see, what else can you change? You can change the tempo as well. You can make it faster by going up, lower, by going, you know, to go slow, faster. That's the tempo. Um, I don't know much about these. And then you can click this fade out so at the end it kind of just fades out and it doesn't just stop. I mean, you can use that if you want, you know, it to end that way. So this is how I do my um, my basic <laughs> music tracks with no vocals or anything like that. Here, if you want to save it now, you don't want to remove that. You go back to your, and if you want to go back to the little squares, you just click that button and it goes back to the how you started. And here, the other thing you can do here real quick, you click on these guys. You tap, go to settings, and you can change the gain and you know speed and all this other stuff I don't know about. <laughs> um, but that's what you can do with each uh, each track, and you can also delete them that way. See, we're gonna delete the vocal there. You can delete, and every track you're able to do that. Just uh, you can split it, trim it, delete it, rename all that stuff. You can copy it and paste it in another place if you wanted again. Um, so that is my tutorial on this or how to video now to save it you just click that arrow and it says my songs and it's gonna be right there now you're gonna hold this down and then you can share it so if you have SoundCloud or even to iMovie you can share it here you click share or you can delete and if you want to name it you just click on that and you can name the song so let's just put demo and there you go that's um how i use <laughs> garage band i hope this was helpful and yeah see you guys next time